Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings on to the elect. You know, this year is almost the year of prophecy 2018 and um the last few prophecies or, or i'll say two major prophecies are uh, on rfid microchip which is the mark of the beast that you read about in revelation 13 starting at the 16th verse and the third world's war that is Armageddon that is spoken of in the in the uh, scriptures, you know, according to, and this is all according to prophecy. And the last major prophecy really uh, doing the war of Armageddon, okay, is Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, returning. And I wanted to hit some scriptures on. Uh, how he's going to return you know we know you know us in the know we know but if it's uh it's uplifting to the spirit to hear these words even the the same scripture that we bring out uh all the time you know every time <clears throat> every time these scriptures get brought out it's like it's getting brought out These scriptures never get dull, they never get old, they never uh, um, like fade away because these scriptures are, are, are life. So I'm going to start with uh, 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, start at verse uh, 6. It says, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. And that rest is talking about resting in the true understanding of this Bible, having a, a spiritual rest, knowing um, the end game, according to prophecy, what's going to come to pass. OK, and ultimately, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, who is sent by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is going to come to deliver us, you know. And uh, before that. We have this truth that gives us that gives us rest, rest in our uh, in our spirit. And then when the kingdom is established, we'll have we'll have complete rest. OK, where we're not being oppressed here in this society, you know. So uh, reading it again. Second Thessalonians one and seven, it says, and to you who are troubled. Rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed with his mighty angels, and that's what we're waiting on. You know, we're we're patiently waiting for, like I mentioned, these two prophecies, major prophecies to be fulfilled. Because you know, or that's gonna take a domino effect as those uh prophecies. Are fulfilled the mark of the beast being made mandatory the, the third world's war uh taking place in uh what the scriptures call the valley of jehoshaphat or the, the in the hebrew it's uh yahweh shapat the valley of yahweh judgment okay and and then i will we will we're, we're looking to see and we're, uh, uh, our Lord come and deliver us. It says, let me read that again. It says, and to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance. And, and we can't wait, you know. If you, if you say you believe, that's what, ultimately, that's what you should be waiting on is to see vengeance uh, taking place starting with our, our Lord Yahweh Shai getting, getting revenge because he's coming to get revenge for himself and for the nation of Israel starting with the elect okay he's coming to uh, um, 
seek vengeance, okay? And 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 bring vengeance to his himself. Really, first and foremost, uh, for his heaven, his father Yahweh name being blasphemed in the earth, and his order by the so-called white man, the, the Edomites, because this is their kingdom. He's coming to take down their empire that's ruling this this planet. Okay, when you read in Revelation uh, uh, seventeen, you read in Revelation uh, thirteen, you read in Revelation uh, twelve, you read twelve, you read about the beast. OK, and that beast is the American empire, which is NATO in the EU. OK, and he's coming to take that down and, and, and uh, take vengeance upon this planet. OK. First for Yahweh, then himself and for the nation of Israel. OK, starting with the elect. In flaming fire, okay. He's coming with uh, let me go ahead and get that. And all these are, are common scriptures that we bring out. Like I said in the beginning, hearing these scriptures, the same common scriptures that we bring out every time, it's like it's like it's getting brought out for the first time with a good, a, a greater understanding or, or just holding more power. You know, this is Isaiah chapter 66. Verse 15, it says, Behold, the Lord, Yahweh, will come with fire. And how is he going to come? He's sending his son, Yahweh Shai, okay, with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord, Yahweh, plow flesh, all flesh that's not of the elect. Of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's that uh, uh, house. Okay. Your 144,000. That you read about in Revelation. The seventh chapter. Okay. The uh, the one third. That's going to be delivered out of, out of America. And the scattered Israelites all, of, all, all over the, the world. Okay. The confusion the faces Israelites. That are part of the elect to receive a uh, salvation, you know. It says uh, everybody else is gonna be slain, okay, or go into captivity. So-called white man, uh, their elites, they're going into captivity. Let me read uh, verse sixteen again, Isaiah sixty-six, six and sixteen. It reads, for by fire and by his sword, will he, I'm sorry, let me read that again. For by fire and by his sword, will he, Salakia, Salakia. For by fire and by his sword, will the Lord Yahweh, by Shum Yahweh Shai, but it's in all caps right there, so it's Yahweh, but he's going to, Get his vengeance through sending his son. Okay. Will uh, the Lord Yahweh please. And the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be many. Okay. So that's how. Yahweh Shai is coming and you got these guys. Uh, uh, that's how he's going to return. And you got these scoffers out here. Like over there in the uh, un black unconsciousness community. That uh, that uh, make make mockery talking about there's gonna be this uh, you guys are waiting for to uh crack the clouds. Yeah, we waiting for him to crack the clouds, and when I can't wait to he show himself and 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 show himself in his glory and in in uh in uh in his anger. Take for all you people that's taking him for a game, you know. And you got people out there that believe the Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shai is some uh, uh, frail Edomite that's going to come back with open arms, uh, uh, playing with people to uh, repent like this is their final call to repent. No, the scripture that I just read 
said that he's going to plea with all flesh, the ones that are not right, okay, of the nation of Israel and of all these other nations with the sword, okay, and slay them. How the chariots are going to shoot laser beams out of them, okay? Now, if we go back in Isaiah 66 and uh, 15, it says, in his chariots, like a whirlwind, he's going to come with, well, let me start from the top. For behold, the Lord Yahweh will come with fire and with chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay, so the chariots are going to be shooting fire and Yahweh Shai himself is going to be shooting fire. Okay, because he's going to come back in great, great power, man. The scripture tells us that in what uh, Isaiah the 47 chapter that he shall not meet thee as a man. And who is the thee? He's talking about uh, Esau, the so-called white man, the one that put him. Okay. So going back to uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 8, verse, uh, I'm sorry, verse, verse 1, chapter Chapter 1, verse 8. Salaki, I got ahead of myself. Uh, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shammashiach. And this is talking about Israelites. Because we know the other nations are not going to obey the gospel. Okay? They're not set up to, to uh, for this word to be preached to. Except their uh, their judgment, okay. The Israelites, you have many Israelites that are going to be destroyed, okay. Now, didn't you have, uh, according to the scriptures, the Israelites, they uh, the wicked Israelites that were mainly of the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and, and Levi, that delivered up Yahweh to the Roman Empire, okay, to the Roman authority. Okay, and said, let his blood be upon us and our children. So a lot of Israelites are going to be put to death by uh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is how he's going to return. He's going to return for the elect and, and furious anger for the wicked. Whether you be wicked amongst our people the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, or you are uh, of the nation of Edom. Okay? This is Luke chapter 19 and 27. To go along with what I just said about those Israelites that are uh, uh, anti anti -Mashiach, uh, ma yeah anti mashiach Okay? Mashiachim, that's that's the way you said. Anti uh Mashiachim. So this is Luke 19 and 27. It says, But those my enemies not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. He's coming to put people to death. Okay. Righteous killings, okay. And after he get done, uh, there's going to be blood in the streets, okay? There's going to be blood all in the, in the streets, okay? And that blood is going to get burned up. All right, let's go from there to... Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a, a, a series... And I'm uh, well, I won't say a series, but I, uh, yeah, a series. This will be part one, and uh, Lord willing, I'm gonna come back and do uh, part two, maybe even a three, because there's many scriptures according to how our Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna return. And I don't want to make this. I don't want to make it too this too long because you know, our people, uh, Jake, have a, a short tension span. But I'm going to end it with this scripture right here. This is a scripture we bring out all the time that we've brought out over the years. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. 
And yeah, I want to get into this because uh, we living in that time. You people got, I mean, you have people that think uh, the Lord is going to come back hundreds of years from now. That he's not going to return in their lifetime. Okay? Then you have people that, that believe there is no Yahweh Shai and there, there is no returning or no second uh, coming of him. Okay? And you're going to be in for a big surprise. This is where our faith is at. Our faith is in these prophecies that he is going to and, and deliver us and destroy the shit out of, out of the wicked, man. And we can't, I can't wait. We can't wait. The ones that are of the hopeful elect. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. This is Yahweh speaking himself. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. He's coming with a sword to destroy the wicked, man. Okay? Wicked of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are Israelites and Edomites and these other nations. Okay? And you Edomites are going to fucking get it, boy. Uh, now, on that next segment... That uh, I get in, or the uh, the second part, I'm going to go into that, you know, Lord willing. The so-called white man got a big price to pay, and Yahweh Shai is going to put a foot in your fucking ass. With that, uh, I hope this left uh, lesson was really, uh, you know, uplifting and edifying to the spirit. Though we know these scriptures and uh, these basic scriptures, it's good to hear. Uh, these prophecies okay especially in the time that we in so with that I want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Bashem Rekakwadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone the men that taught us this truth through and peace and blessings on to the elect Shalom